Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to buy custom wallpapers to your Xbox Series S. The first step is you will need to go on your computer or even on your phone, you will just need to head over to the link in the description and bring to the Xbox page where you can get wallpapers. You can also bring your own wallpaper, uh, if you don't want to or just want to use one of these, you can see, just click on one of the wallpapers and just make sure you click on Xbox and it should be brought to here. You just want to right click and you just want to find an option which you know says uh, save image as or download image and you just want to download that image onto your computer or even your phone once you've done this you're going to need access to uh, either an external ssd or usb flash drive and the reason why is because we need to plug this into the xbox uh, uh series s and so once you have that flash drive just plug it into the computer i'm going to use my external one here and you can see the image, you just want to copy that image over to your external hard drive or uh, you know, flash drive. Now here's the thing, if you're using your own wallpaper, then obviously you copy that one over. Otherwise, you know, you just use the one you downloaded. So I'm going to do, I'm going to move this like this. I'm going to go to the downloads. I'm just going to drag and drop. And once it's dragged and dropped, just eject the uh, SD card, not SD card, hard drive, flash drive, whatever. And now you have it right here. So the next step is what you're going to do is you see on the front on your Xbox Series S there is a USB port. There are some on the back if you're already using the front one. You just want to connect the uh, flash drive in. So I'm going to do that now. And uh, once this is connected, we can go back to the Xbox Series S itself. You're going to see use for media or for games and apps. So we're just going to uh, cl uh, click on here, use for media, because you know we are going to use it for media. And then the final step is what we're going to do is on the Xbox controller itself, we'll click on the Xbox button. We'll navigate to my games and apps see all and then we're going to navigate all the way down until you see library click into this one storage devices and you should see that external hard drive or, or you know flash drive whatever click in uh, uh, click into this one and you can see here view contents click into this one give it a little bit to load up and you can see we will need to download the media player so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show microsoft store and you'll just need to download the media player onto your device so just click on install and I'll come back to once this is done. All right, so you can see the media player has installed. So all you do is you just go back to the same page you were earlier by just clicking on a B and then you just click on A, view contents. Now the media player should load up. So once we're inside the media player, we see that flash drive. We'll just click into this one and you just want to navigate to the wallpaper and you just click on the wallpaper itself. So just click A and then you'll see the wallpaper right here. Once you're here, click on start. And you can see the option which says set as background. You just select this one and it'll be your background. So I'm just going to keep it raw. I kind of like the default one. So I'm just going to leave mine as it is. However, that is the process. That is the steps you take in order to set a custom wallpaper. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.